Earlier this morning, I was woken up by creaking floorboards above me. It turns out zombies had come into my house and one was down in my bedroom. So now I'm hiding under my bed and I don't know what's going on. There's a zombie right next to me and I think he can smell me as long as we don't make a noise. I need to find a way to escape and get to my car and drive out of here. It appears zombies have taken over Los Santos and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to make a run for it. But if I can just get to my car, we'll be a-okay. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's try and go upstairs. Any zombies? Yes, the staircase is clear. All right, run, Frank. Run, run, run. Oh my days, they're in my house. Okay, we can't go up here. If they bite me, we turn into a zombie. We're going downstairs. I didn't think they were still above me. Okay, there's only one zombie outside my bedroom. Yeah, I reckon we can flank him. Come on, Frank. Run, run. Get to my garage. Wait a minute. Is that Chop? That is. They took Chop as well. Oh no. Okay, Chop didn't make it. I'll avenge you, boy. I'll, I'll do something about this. I'm gonna take out as many zombies as I can. Just get to my car. Get to my car. Come on, open, open. Oh my days, they're coming out of my house. Jump in. Get inside. Wait, why is the engine smoking? Why is it smoking? Um, I'm in a bit of a pickle. My car isn't working. The engine has gone. Oh no. And now I'm trapped. You see that, guys? There's a lot of zombies trying to come through my garage door. If I open that door, they're gonna come in and make a snack out of me. All right, Franklin. I'll figure this out. Let's see what Michael's doing. If anyone's gonna save him, it's gonna be Mike. Mike, you're the only person I can count on. Hey, what is he doing? Oh, this is what he's doing. Defending his house. All right, we got a lot of zombies to deal with now. And they've come through the gates. They managed to knock it down. Okay, how do we kill these zombies? How strong are they? Okay, pretty strong. That guy's still alive. And I shot him like five times in the chest. Oh, no, it's one of these kinds of zombies. We gotta go over the head or else it doesn't count. They don't die. Stay away from my car. We need that car to rescue Frank. Wait, I think they're right underneath me. Okay, all right, we'll deal with them. Let's just get all the stragglers in the garden. Oh, my days, there's even more of them over there. And they're coming straight for the house. Okay, I don't really want to risk jumping down. No, if I jump down, they could bite my ankles. I'm going back in my house. I mean, I could do with finding out how my family is. I don't even know if they're okay. Wait, why is there a plank over the door? Michael, what's gone down in this house, dude? Okay, I need to see this. All right, open it up. Amanda, Jimmy, Tracy, is anyone here? Michael, what's happened to you? Oh, my days. Amanda, no, Jimmy, Tracy, his entire family is zombies. Michael, leave, leave, leave. Okay, I did not realize his family is zombies. Michael's the only one standing, and they're trying to get through the door. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Shop's gone. Michael's family's gone. Oh, these zombies have wiped out everyone. Well, I'm not gonna let them get Franklin. We're gonna rescue him. All right, what does it look like out here? Pretty safe, actually. There's a couple in the garden. Let's sort that guy out. How does it look under here? Okay, there were a few zombies under my garage, but is my car all right? Can we drive in the vehicle? Please, 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 please. Yes, the vehicle works. All right, let's get out of here, Mike. I gotta rescue Frank before it's too late. Wait, wait, where did these zombies come from? They're everywhere, dude. I actually don't believe this. What is going on? I need to find answers, and I need to find them soon. There's, like, no survivors around. There's zombies at the coffee shop. There's no one driving around either. I'm so glad I got this car. Without this, it would have been a long time before we reached Frank. Oh, no. Is that what I think it is? Dave, I, don't, I, can't, I can't take this call right now. There's zombies everywhere, and I'm facing a horde of them. This is the way to Franklin's house. I gotta go this way. Do I risk it? This is a convertible. If any of them land in my car. Okay, maybe we don't go this way, actually. I'm gonna find another way. This is too risky. Is there another road I can take? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, I'm just gonna take that left over there. You see it? I'm not going up that road. No way. Not in a million years. All right, this road looks a little bit safer to me. Is there anything on the radio? Like, there's gotta be something. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh my days. Ooh, another horde of zombies. Okay, these guys are coming from all directions. I think I gotta go through these guys. There's literally no other choice. And there's nothing on the radios either. Just noise. Here goes nothing. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna beat my horn. Zombies, move out the way. Move out the way, guys. Go, go, go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Come on. The car's getting stuck. Okay, maybe that was a stupid idea. Let's try and go around. Get out. Get off my car. Get off my car. I don't want that to happen again. Never. Never. Okay, is there anything on the radio? Come on. There's got to be something. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. All the radio stations are down. I can't get a signal anywhere. This is not how I wanted to start my day, but I've made it to Franklin's house. It's right up there. I get out the way, zombie. One down, one less to worry about. Oh, boy. Okay, even more of them are joining the garage. And they're more interested in him than they are with me. I'm gonna find some high ground. I don't want the worst case to happen and find out that they're going after me. Whilst I'm down here. All right, let's just get on these wheelie bins. Frank.
Franklin, don't worry. I'm gonna rescue you, buddy. Everything's gonna be fine. Have I got anything better like real gun? No, that'll take out Frank. I got a shotgun. All right, looks like this is the best thing we have. Hey, Frank, get down to the ground so bullets might go through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the best spot ever. <laughs> they can't get me up here. I have never seen zombies so focused. They're not even turning around to look at me. And I'm the guy taking them all out. It's a good job Michael's alive. If he was a zombie, I would have died five minutes into the video. I think that's most of them dealt with. Yep, I don't see any movement anymore. What about... Okay, he's down too. Hey, Frank, I think it's safe to come out now, but we're gonna need to clear some bodies. Whoa, okay, that's a big pile up. <laughs> there was no way I was escaping this garage. Hey, Mike, wait up. I'm getting in that car with you. Phew, we rescued Franklin. Oh, no, we better not go that way. Whoa, Michael, you don't need to get out of the car to shoot them. <laughs> we can just drive there. My days, he's gonna get us killed. He wants to get all the zombies. All right, I'm driving the car. You can get yourself killed if you want to, but as far as I'm aware, we need to get out of here, Mike, like now. Jeez, he's the most unreliable person ever. What, you want to get that guy? Okay, let's just, let's go and get him together then. <laughs> Clear the road. Okay, well, how's it looking behind? Michael, but you're being chased. You're being chased, Michael. Come on, Frank, get him, get him, get him. Oh my days, Michael, are you okay? Get up, Michael, get up, get him. <sighs> yeah, he's fine. You sure you ain't being bitten? Oh my days, behind you again, Michael. I Get in the car. I don't want to keep saving you. Come on. Are you done now? Have you had your banger management or whatever it is you need to call it? Get in the car. We gotta drive. Next time you see a zombie, don't go after it, Mike. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm listening to something. Someone's on the radio. SOS. Survivors, head to marked waypoint. I repeat, head to marked waypoint. Marked waypoint? Have they just given me a target to go to? Oh, they have. Amazing. So there's a survivor base all the way up there in Polito Bay. Okay, we can get there. We got a car. We're going to be just fine. Yeah, there's a few zombies in the road, but as long as Michael doesn't try and get himself killed, we'll be just about fine. Wait, how much fuel is in this car, Michael? Not much. Yeah, you're telling me. We gotta find another car because this one has run out of fuel. Michael, get out. We're taking the road again. I don't believe this. Well, at least we got the SOS message. We know we're there survivors. But right now, we gotta find a car. And we gotta find one soon. This is the worst place to break down. How many zombies are there? Yeah, I know, Mike. There's a lot of zombies, right? We're not even gonna try and deal with them. Let's just go up this hill, but they're gonna be chasing us this whole time. Oh, my days. I'm gonna walk up here. We're gonna get out of this mess. I need to find a car. There's gotta be a car around here somewhere. Michael, keep your eyes peeled for a car. Oh, no, there's even more of them up here, too. Where are these zombies coming from? It's like every single person in this world is a zombie. Wait, there's cars over there, and there's three of them. And wait a minute. Is that an ambulance? Could you imagine if we had an ambulance? I mean, the supplies in that vehicle? Just in case anything happens. We, we fall off a building or get, get a random cut. It's got a lot of dust on the wind mirror and wait a second. The engine's broken. I reckon I can fix that. Hey, Michael, I could do it some backup. I need this ambulance. No, the ambulance is on fire. Okay, we're not taking an ambulance then. Oh my days. Okay, there's zombies behind me too. Looks like we'll go for another vehicle. Okay, let's see. What about this one? This is the biggest. Yep, okay, this is ours. Have we got time to repair the... Okay, almost, almost. Michael, you deal with the zombies over there. I'm gonna clear out the ones near me and I'm gonna repair this engine. Okay, that, that's a lot of them, but I think we got just enough time. Time. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Come on. Can we get this fixed pretty quickly? They're approaching. Oh, my days. Okay, way to make me stressed. Yes. Is it working? Okay, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Come on, get in the car. Get in the car, Frank. Please tell me it's working. Yes, I got the engine working. All right, Michael, wherever you are, get in the passenger seat. We're getting out of here. I'm finding the fastest way out of Los Santos. Now I know there's shelter. I'm getting there as fast as I can. It seems like everyone in Los Santos has turned into a zombie. From Lester to Simeon to even your neighbor. Oh, my days. A dog. No. <gasps> are you okay? Okay, I just took out another dog. Um, we'll just keep driving. So sorry, dude. You were in the middle of the road. Ah, oh, that could have been a companion as well. We could have taken him in. Ugh. Okay, let's just get out of here. I want to get to the shelter, close my eyes, and pretend like none of this ever exists. All right, we've made it out of Los Santos. That's great news. Going into the desert now. If we stay on this road, we'll hit the highway, and we'll be straight into Polito Bay. We're, we're like 10 minutes out. Hey, come on, guys. Get out the way. Move it or lose it, zombies. Whoa, check this out. That's a big horde. Yeah, I don't I want to be around for that. No, 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 no. Hey, Mike, don't get out. Don't get out. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Michael. The engine's not working. Wait, it just stopped on me. Why are cars so unreliable? They're never usually this unreliable. Oh, my days. They're moving the car. They're moving the car. This is not my fault, dude. Oh, jeez. They're going to blow this car up. Okay, listen. I, I can't stick my hand out the window. We can't shoot them. But there's one more person we can count on. Trevor. If he's alive, we can get him to rescue us and we'll get to that shelter. All right, Trevor. Looks like you're up now. Trevor? 
is he doing, dude? He's driving through sandy shores, enjoying your random Sunday drive in a zombie apocalypse. You're officially crazy, Trevor. Well, at least Trevor's okay. That's what matters. Everything is fine with T. As for Franklin and Trevor, they're surrounded by zombies somewhere up in those hills. So foggy, I can't even see what's happening. Hey, have you got any planes in the airfield we could use, actually? That would be really handy. Even a helicopter or whatever, you know, something to land down. Oh, wait a minute, he does. Well, it did belong to the FIB. Now it belongs to Trevor Phillips. <laughs> well, I'm glad Trevor has a helicopter on hand. We'll use this. Patricia's alive in this zombie apocalypse. All right, Trevor's got his own thing going right now. <laughs> Zombies don't even phase him. He's still living life like it's normal. I'm just glad he's alive and A-okay, because now I can rescue Franklin and Michael. And with this helicopter, we'll get straight to the shelter and call it a day. Hey, wait, Trevor just got a message too. SOS, go to Mark's waypoint. That's the exact same waypoint as the other guys. They've sent this message to everyone. Okay, this has made me really happy because now I know that they're actually saving people. That's them, all right. They could really do with some help. There must be at least a hundred zombies and they're pushing the car. Okay, that car does not have much life in it. All right, Trevor, let's land this helicopter and uh, help them out. We may as well. After all, I am feeling a bit generous. Yeah, if they leave that door, there is no way those zombies are gonna let them run. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see. I could use a grenade launcher, a rocket launcher, or just a minigun. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, zombies, what are you doing? All right, they, they see me and now they want me. They realize the car is off the menu after I shot a few bullets. Well, in that case, zombies, let's have it. Hey, Frank, Mike, you can get out the car now. Nope, they still want to stay in the car. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'll leave you to do your own business. I'll, I'll deal with these zombies then. There's so many of them. How do you guys attract so many zombies to the area? I don't understand. They're literally everywhere. There's got to be at least 150, maybe even 200 of them. Hey, and they're in the bush too. All right, stay close to the helicopter. I don't want to lose the helicopter. Okay, guys, I think I've got all the zombies. It's safe to come out the car now. Now get out the car. I'm not going to wait around. Fine. Looks like I got to chauffeur them out the car instead. <laughs> hey, uh, Michael, Frank, you can leave now. It's safe. As you can see, the zombies are dead. Hey, don't mention it, guys. I got your back anytime. Just so happens Trevor was alive too. So it seems like we're the only survivors in this apocalypse, apart from the people at that shelter. Speaking of which, we better go there now. I got a helicopter which we can use. Well, I'm glad they're dealt with. Is my helicopter? Yeah, helicopter still there. Still looks good to me. No smoke coming out the sides. All right, guys, get in. We're gonna be back at the base in no time. And at least if this breaks down, we can fall out the sky or parachute and go wherever we want to. So way safer in a helicopter. I never thought after the events of this morning that we would all get together and fight this zombie apocalypse together. But it seems like we've done just that. <laughs> How awesome is this? The trio back together again. Well, let's take a look down there. I don't see too many zombies on the road. Sandy Shore seems pretty clear to me. And I don't even see any bases either. This could be the only base up at Polizzo Bay. Hey guys, check it out. The base is real. They weren't kidding. They got a fighter jet. They have military equipment. Wow, okay. This is exactly what we need. Hey, hope you don't mind me landing here. I got the SOS message with some of the only survivors in Los Santos. We need to go through a lot to get here. And man, was it worth it. They got tanks too. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't think we're gonna worry about these zombies anymore. This base has everything we need. Check it out. I love that car. It's got a turret on the top. It's got sandbags around the side. Everything you need just in case of a survival situation. And backup fuel. Could have done with that, eh? And they've even got a little base inside here. That's awesome. Hey, thank you so much for sending out the message. You guys are a lifesaver. And there's even a lookout place to see all the zombies out in front of us. And right now, it seems pretty quiet. Looks like they've left us alone. Nice. You guys have done a great job. So uh, yes, that's me. Uh, what's up? Can we stay with you guys, please? We didn't really survive too well out there. Yeah, you could stay with us if you do one job. One job, hey? Yeah, I think we can do that. What kind of job are you asking for? There's a man south of Los Santos at the Mayweather ports. He's a captain and he's got a boat. Rescue him, get his boat, and we'll get out of here together. That would make sense. They got too many people here and nothing to actually evacuate them with. Okay, mister, you can count on us. And once we get that boat, we're getting out of here. You hear that, Frank? You hear that, Mike? You're coming with me. Except this time, I actually want to play as Franklin. Trevor has no sleeves, all right? I feel like he's going to do better by himself because if I play as him, he's definitely going to get bitten. So what are you waiting for? Let's get back in the helicopter and head down to Los Santos. You heard the man. He's locked at the Merriweather port. I know exactly where that is, and we're going to get him out of there. Sir, we sent a rescue team. They better to be here quick. I don't know how much longer I can hold them. This is the Merriweather port. And there's a captain locked inside and he's got a boat. I can see one zombie down there. Nope. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I can see a lot of them outside already. Even more of them around there near the containers. Okay. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna land this helicopter on the roof. That's probably the safest place for it. And then we'll find a way down and rescue this captain. Okay, everyone out the helicopter, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. They said he was barricaded in, and I don't want to take that lightly. It means there's a lot of zombies outside, and one wrong move and we could all die. Hey, come on, slow coaches. I'm not gonna do all the work today. All right, have they seen us? No, they don't see us. They're still doing their own thing. Patrolling, prowling around the area. Okay, we're heading into the Merryweather port, and we've made a bit of noise. Yeah, wrong way. I wish it was. I wish we didn't have to do this. I don't even know how many zombies there are in there. I am not looking forward to finding out. Is he even dead? No, he's not dead, dude. You gotta really go over the head with them. You miss the heads, and they get back up. This is like a whole double tap situation. Okay, you guys get my back. I'm gonna head straight in. What are you doing, Michael? Hiding behind the barrier? Okay, Michael is officially the worst member of the team. He's not helping out whatsoever. He's trying to save himself. This gate isn't even opening. Maybe we can open the next one? Yes. Okay, this one opens. Beautiful. For some reason, the other one was locked. So is this the boat he was talking about? Oh, yeah. That's his boat. And that's a pretty rough sea. The octopus. Yeah, that's gonna get us all out of there for sure. First of all, we gotta focus on getting him out of there. That's where he is. And I see a lot of zombies at the door. All right, Frank. We got this. We've got a shotgun. We'll head up the stairs and we'll clear out the horde. Here we go. Almost on the top floor. I'm doing first person for this. Is this the right level? Yes, it is. All right. Hey, zombies. You picked on the wrong person. Let's take him out. Be careful of the planks. If we destroy those planks, they're gonna get through. Jeez, there must be at least 50 of them against this door. Go for the head. Nice. Nice. We're smashing this. And they're still not turning around. I don't understand. Why aren't they turning around? By the time I'm done, I don't even know how I'm gonna get over them. There's gonna be so many. Okay, now they're beginning to notice something's going on. One or two of them are turning around. I'm pretty sure I've taken them all out. There were a lot of them, let me tell you. And just in time, the plank is now broken. All right, let's get moving. There's even more of them around the other side. All right, I'm gonna let them do their thing for now. And instead, I'm gonna rescue the captain. Hey, captain, it's only me. It's only me. You're okay. Let's get you out of here on that boat. I didn't think you would come. Yeah, well, I did. Now, let's go. So, is this your boat over here? Yeah, that's my boat. Let's get it. Yep, all right. That's the boat. We're getting on it. Once we get on this boat, we can take everyone out of here and go somewhere safe. If that place even exists. I hope it does. Yes, we got it. Hold on. It's gonna be a rough journey. Check it out. We're getting out of here. <laughs> all right, look at that amazing view of Los Santos. If only I knew what started this apocalypse. I better call this in, let them know we got the boat. Hey, this is Frank. We got the boat and the captain. Give us the pickup location and we'll be there in 10 minutes. Thanks, Frank. Sending location now. Okay, that's not too far away. Just the beach next to the station. This is super convenient. Sailing in a zombie apocalypse is amazing. We didn't go into any trouble at all. And check it out. That's the survivors. Hey, guys, get on a dinghy. Come on. We got plenty of space. And just like that, we're out of here. And I will never, ever come back until those zombies zombies are gone. And boy, am I glad to be here. A paradise island in the middle of nowhere? And the sun's out! Hey, hang on a second. I think the military are here too! I can see the aircraft carrier! That must be a good sign. If the military are here, then that means the boat captain has done a fantastic job in taking us to safety. Speaking of which, there's the military now. I wonder if they'll let us in. Hey guys, is this place alright? Can we, uh, can we settle here? Are there any zombies? No, sir. This place is clean. We're gonna need to search you. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, you can search away. This place is clean, though. I think we found safety. So, how long is this gonna take, man? I'm feeling a bit nervous already. Don't take a few moments. I just gotta check if you're infected. You see, uh, you're clear. Let's look at you. Yeah, you're clear, too, and... What about you over there, buddy? Yep, you're good too. Are you guys can pass? Yes, we're okay to go. Thank you very much, mister. Welcome to paradise. Well, I can go with paradise. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. So we survived the zombie apocalypse. We made it through it. So Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, you've done a fantastic job, but I wish you the very best of luck now on Paradise Island. I'm sure you're gonna love it. If you enjoyed the video, smash like and help us get to 7 million subscribers. But thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome. Thank you.